what's going on everyone welcome back to another episode of rob switch reviews i'm rob switch and again i'm joined by my friend silver finial silver how you doing buddy doing fantastic how are you well uh you you pre-called it uh before we started filming this are you on a foreign food run yep um i was at meyer and none of this stuff cost over two bucks a bag Good old Meyer. Good old Meyer. I was in the international aisle. You That's remember... where you get all the good stuff, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember a few years ago, there were people throwing a stink of stop calling it the international aisle? Oh, yeah. Guys, it's literally an international aisle. You could find things not from America there. Yeah. It brings and not just countries. from one other country. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so I was in the uh, international aisle. I still say it. And uh, we we did the uh, gummy treats earlier from Japan. Uh, now we are doing Osum Bisley, and it's a product of Israel. I have two flavors today. So we're going to start with the uh, image behind me, which is the barbecue. Uh, flavored wheat snacks, 2.5 ounces, 140 uh, calories per serving, or 350 per container. And it looks like it's about... Two and a half servings of bag. Do you want to know what those remind me of, at least look-wise? On the bag itself? Uh, the yeah. cinnamon twist from Taco Bell? Shit. That, too. <laughs> Damn. But I was thinking of the uh, the Frito-Lay twist things. I don't think I've seen those. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see that. All right, so let's crack this bag open. That don't smell like no barbecue I've ever smelled. You know American barbecue. Come on. Give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. That's what we do here. We review. All right. So uh, here's the product itself. I'll hold a single one up to the camera, too. Yeah, it, it really reminds me of the Frito-Lay honey barbecue twists. It's extra crunchy because of the wheat. Right. It kind of tastes like barbecue sauce. Kind of. It's there, but it's not as strong as something you would find in an American snack. It leaves you wanting more. I think it's because I'm an American. Like, it's not as salty. Mm. It doesn't have that, like, hickory kick. Like most barbecues have. It's not bad. It's not great. Damn. The fact that it's wheat makes it a little bit drier and a little bit crunchier. And it almost kind of feels stale. And these are fairly new bags, by the way. I've only had them for like two weeks. All right. So moving on to the next flavor. Same brand. This is their pizza flavor. Different shape? Different shape. Okay. I thought I was seeing stuff for a second. They're, they're little cubes with uh, air uh, or holes in them. You can see right through them. Well, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, that was crunchy. It's got that same wheat taste. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of taste like a tomato kick on the tail end of it. They're dry. I think I like the barbecue a little bit more. They're not horrible. In the realm of crunchy snacks, they're not bad. They're not great. It's missing that the sodium that a lot of American snacks have. Right. So I think overall, uh, both flavors, I just give them... Kind of a week five out of ten. Oh, that's so crunchy. The crunch is nice, but I have to swig my beer if I had to keep eating these damn things. Like every time you take a bite, I feel it. Oh, 
crunch ASMR for all you perverts out there. Yeah. So five out of ten. You can find them in your international aisles and your local grocery stores. I found them at Meyer. They're not great. They're not bad. Kind of bleh. Kind of bland. Yeah. I was going to wrap up the review. If you guys like Twitch, make sure you check me out there. Uh, links below. If you're able to, you know, maybe you support the Patreon. This is what I do um, when I go grocery shopping or I'm out and about and I hit uh, local spots where I normally wouldn't buy something. So even, you know, just a few bucks on Patreon a month goes a long ways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Silver, for being part of this review. Anytime, bud. Well, that's good because we got some more coming up. All right, guys, we'll Shit. talk to you soon. <laughs> As always, I'm Rob Switch. Stay special. Fuck this court and fuck Jim Leahy. Fuck Randy. Fuck those two idiot cops right there. Fuck suit dummies. As a matter of fact, fuck legal aid. Fuck Danny and Terry's buffalo chicken wings. Fuck all the old wooden here. Fuck the moon. Fuck corn on the cob. Fuck squirrels. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck everything. How you doing, buddy? Fuck. <laughs>